Hi, I'm Tom with TDL Repair, and today, a little bit different, I'm going to take you on the road with me all day. So we've got a retail day today uh, with four separate jobs in different areas, uh, and I'm going to take you through what it's like to be out on the road as a PDR technician, and go through the jobs with you um, in depth to see what we can do in terms of repairs. Uh, so stay tuned, and it should be a good day today. First job of the day is this dent in this Mercedes GLA. Now unfortunately it has caught the paintwork as well, but we're going to see if we can get in there, take out the dent and then just apply a small amount of touch up paint uh, that won't fully repair the paintwork, but it will reduce the appearance and protect the panel from any kind of corrosion. So let's get started. So I've got the line board set up. You can really see that dent now against that door ridge. And I've set up my glass protector and a window wedge just to open up this door gap. And we'll see what access there is to the inside. So I'm going to start off using uh, just a door hook bar and see if we can get him and actually get behind that dent. Okay, I can get, uh, get behind, I can just about get to this top section, but it feels like there's a bar or um, some kind of brace reinforcer just right in the way of this hook bar. Annoyingly. <laughs> so, using a whale tail or a little brace tool, we'll see if we can get behind um, with a different tool. So, I'm going to use this paddle tool. See if we have more luck. Alright, that's better. Just a different angle in the tip means I can actually get in behind the, um, or just above that bar there. Um, so I can access all of this dent. So, good news, we can take the dent out. I'm going to start by warming up the panel, just using a general hairdryer. Um, which will just warm the panel and protect the paint. Even though the paint's already damaged, it just makes the metal a bit easier to work with as well. So what I'm actually doing with the other end of this bar, the brace bar runs across here. I'm able to get the tip of that tool into the bar and then use that bar actually as leverage to use this tip behind the dent and push out the dent. So although the bar initially was a pain that it's in the way, it's actually quite good because I can get in there and use the, the edge of the brace as my leverage point to twist this um, paddle tool or whale tail. And just applying gentle pressure um, with a few pushes behind and really sort of drawing the metal back out again to get the lines in the reflection to read through. Okay, I've taken most of the dent out. Uh, I've just got a couple of little high spots in here from the tooltip. So I'm just going to tap these down. And I know this is a cheap basic hammer, but it's quite heavy and I quite like the weight of it. 
to be honest, it's whatever you get used to as a technician, um, and you'll find the tools that work for you, um, particularly with a hammer, such base different tips, and also for a lighter touch, you can use the handle to tap it down as well. Okay, so I've taken out the main dent with that big paint chip on it, which we're going to touch in. But those with a keen eye, especially with this line board, can see that we've actually got another dent just here. So whilst we're here, I'm going to glue pull that dent out, because I've put the bars in behind and there's the edge of the door frame that runs down here, so there's just no access to get a tool in there. But by using a glue pull method, that little crease should come out just fine. Just here you can see the little high spot where I've just pulled the the dent and I've brought it out just high which I'm now going to tap in and with a bit of luck that one pull should just do it. So now we've taken out the dent on the door, it's already looking much better and I'm just going to apply a small amount of touch of paint into that chip just to take the eye off it. Okay now we've finished this job and I've put a small amount of touch of paint into that chip. Now the paint repair is by no means perfect um, otherwise it would need a full kind of door and respray poten potentially blending into the adjacent panel i.e. the front door. Uh, which would obviously be a fair few hundred pounds so we've taken out the dent without any fillers and just applied a small amount of touch of paint which takes the eye off it and protects the panel from any kind of rust and corrosion so let's take a closer look so now walking up to the panel there is no obvious dent damage or paint damage once we get in really close that's that touch up repair and as i say it's not due to be a perfect repair but certainly from a distance it takes the eye off that horrible white chip that was there and most importantly protects the paintwork. So now that job's done we're on to our next job or next dent. We're still at the same location um, and the customer's got another vehicle just seen here that's also got a small dent in the door so let's go and have a look and try and take that one out too. So we're now onto this Maserati and it's pretty small but there is just a small dent just here in the panel to try and get a good reflection of it. There we go. And it's just that small dent there in the door which we're going to try and take out. So now we're on to the next vehicle, uh, which is this Maserati behind me, and we're going to use exactly the same process of opening up the door gap with a window wedge and dropping down a glass protector, um, and then probably using a hook bar or door bar to get behind the dent, and providing there's access, we we'll, should be able to get that dent out fairly straightforward. Um, and again, I'm going to start by using a bit of heat on that panel to protect the paint, 
and make the dent a bit more uh, movable. So let's take a closer look. So we're going to try and start by using this hook bar again, see what access we can get. <laughs> Not been very lucky with these um, dent locations today because once again there is a bar right in the way of that dent. So I can only get the tip of that hook bar about uh, half an inch above the, the dent itself. As we did in the last one, let's see if we can get to it with the paddle tool. Okay, that's better. I can just about get to the inside of that dent. And once again, as we did in the last dent, using one tip of the paddle tool behind the brace or reinforcer that's there to give me a bit of leverage to then use the uh, twist in the handle, use the other tip to actually push out that dent. Um, so we'll put a bit of heat on it and take that dent out. So I'm moving this bar um, up and down and what that's doing is twisting the paddle tool just so I can get one of the tips right behind the dent. So it's a very fine adjustment or a larger adjustment with this end of the handle. But it's a very fine adjustment just moving the tip um, just a few mil at a time to get behind that dent. And then a little bit of light pressure and we can start to see the panel move. Now I've taken the dent out and there's just a just a tiny tiny little high spot which I'm now going to tap down. Um, but one of the most important things with the dent repair process is to remember to keep moving from side to side throughout the repair because um, it may look like it's completely gone from one angle and then when you cross check it from the other side, you can still see a little higher or low. So I'm gonna tap down what I can see from this side. And then readjust my line board, look from the other side and just have another look at it and cross check my work. Oh yeah. Morning. And then also, without the line board altogether, just looking down with the naked eye to make sure we've fully taken that dent out. I'm happy that's gone, so I'm just going to give it a little polish and a wipe, and then we'll have a closer look at the repair itself, or the, the finished product. So that's it on our first job of the day. Uh, I'm Tom with TDL Repair and we've successfully taken out the dent from the Maserati and the Mercedes door using paintless dent removal techniques. So we're all packed up, we're going to give the keys back to the customer and then we're off to our second job of the day. So stay tuned and we'll see what that's got in store for us. <laughs>